thanksgiving and celebrate His love. Come to the table and turn His presence with sweet thanksgiving and celebrate His love. This is a house of the Lord. The gates are open wide. Sinners and saints, strong and faint, all welcome to come inside. Come to the table and the refreshment. Celebrate His love. Come to the table and the rich presence. Be sweet thanksgiving and celebrate His love. We begin our Eucharist in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brother, brothers and sisters, first of all, I would like to welcome the pupils, students, teachers, and guardians of Alpha Angelicum Academy from Binyan, Laguna. So welcome to the Manila Cathedral. Welcome to the Mother Church. And also in this Eucharist, let us include in our prayers those who are sick, especially those who are in critical condition. May the healing hand of the Lord be extended upon them. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. The officers of the king in charge of enforcing the apostasy came to the city of Modin to organize the sacrifices. Many of Israel joined them. But Mattathias and his sons gathered in a group apart. Then the officers of the king addressed Mattathias, You are a leader, an honorable and great man in this city, supported by sons and kin. Come now, be the first to obey the king's command, as all the Gentiles and the men of Judah, and those who are left in Jerusalem, have done. Then you and your sons shall be numbered among the king's friends, and shall be enriched with silver and gold and many gifts. But Mattathias answered in a loud voice, Although all the Gentiles in the king's realm obey him, so that each forsakes the religion of his fathers, and 
consents to the king's orders. Yet I and my sons and my kin will keep to the covenant of our fathers. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the commandments. We will not obey the words of the king, nor depart from our religion in the slightest degree. As he finished saying these words, a certain Jew came forward in the sight of all to offer sacrifice on the altar in Modin. According to the king's order, when Mattathias saw him, he was filled with zeal. His heart was moved and his just fury was aroused. He sprang forward and killed him upon the altar. At the same time, he also killed the messenger of the king who was forcing them to sacrifice and, who tore, and he tore down the altar. Thus he showed his seal for the law, just as Pinehas died, did with Zimri, son of Salu. Then Mattathias went through the city of city shouting let everyone who is zealous for the law and who stands by the covenant follow after me thereupon he fled to the mountain with his sons leaving behind in the city all their possessions many who sought to live according to righteousness and religious customs went out into the desert to settle there. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. God, the Lord, has spoken and summon the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting from zion perfect in beauty god shines forth to the upright i will show the saving power of god gather my faithful ones before me those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice, and fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in time of distress. I will rescue you, and you shall glorify me. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. 
they will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, true love cannot impose itself. It cannot force itself. The lover cannot force himself or herself to the beloved. That is why one of the characteristics of true love is powerlessness. Ang isang pag-ibig, kung ito'y tunay, ay hindi maipipilit. Sapagkat ang tunay na pag-ibig ay maaaring tanggihan o maaaring tanggapin. Karanasan siguro yan ng mga ibang boys dito sa misa. Meron kayong mga crush or crushes. Meron kayong gustong ligawan, hinahangaan ninyo. Pero siguro naranasan ng iba sa inyo na nanligaw siya, naglakas ng loob siyang magtapat ng kanyang damdamin. Pero ang sabi noong babae, sorry ah, friends lang tayo. Yan. Masakit. Pero wala tayo magagawa sapagkat ang tunay na pag-ibig hindi maipipilit. In the Gospel, Jesus is described as looking at the city of Jerusalem. He was on a higher, uh, higher uh, position. And he was looking at the city of Jerusalem which he was about to enter. Once he entered into Jerusalem, that will begin the passion, his passion and death. And the gospel said, Jesus wept over it. Umiyak ang Panginoon. Naluha siya. Kailan kayo umiiyak? Kailan tayo naiiyak? Naiiyak tayo kapag tayo ay galit. May mga tao galit na galit, sa galit niya ay naiyak siya. Meron din namang naiyak dala ng tuwa. Sa kagalakan niya, dahil siya ay nakapasa sa board, o natanggap ang visa, o kaya ay tumama sa loto, naluha siya sapagkat ang luha niya ay tanda ng kagalakan. Ang luha ni Jesus sa Ebanghelyo, hindi dala ng galit. Ang luha ng Panginoon sa Ebanghelyo ay hindi bunsod ng tuwa. Ang kanyang luha ay nagmumula sa kanyang kalungkutan. We cry when we are sorrowful. And Jesus wept because He felt sorrowful. And what was the cause of his sorrow? The rejection he suffered because of Jerusalem. Tinanggihan siya, tinanggihan ang kanyang mabuting balita, tinanggihan ang kanyang ahin, hain ng kaligtasan. And he wept, he wept because he was sorry. He was sorrowful. That is why at the end of the gospel, no, he was saying, you did not recognize the time of your visitation. And what will happen to Jerusalem later in the later years? Jerusalem will be destroyed. Not by God. Not by God. God does not destroy God does not punish. God is love. Hindi nagpaparusa ang Diyos. 
ang Jerusalem ay masisira dala ng kanilang desisyong hindi makinig. Ngayon, naliliwanagan ang mukha ko kasi may ilaw sa harapan ko. Kung sakaling walang ilaw sa likod ko at ako'y tumalikod, didilim ang aking mukha. Hindi kasalanan ng ilaw ang pagdilim ng aking mukha. Nandun pa rin yung ilaw, hindi naman nawala. Pero dumilim ang mukha ko sapagkat ako'y tumalikod. Ganon din ang mangyayari sa Jerusalem. Umiyak si Jesus sapagkat alam niyang ang pagtanggi ng Jerusalem ay magbubunga ng kanilang pagkawasa. So mga minamahal kong bata at mga kabataan, ano ang lesson nito sa atin? Anong lesson nito sa inyo? Lagi nating piliin ang Diyos. Huwag nating tanggihan ang Diyos. Sundin natin ang utos ng Diyos. Sapagkat kapag tayo ay tumalikod sa Diyos, kapag iniwan natin ng Diyos, tayo ang talo. Tayo ang talo. Katulad yan ng komisan, inuutosan kayo ng mga magulang nyo. Sabihin na, oh, huwag mong gagawin yan. Baka masugatan ka. Huwag kang tumakbo. Baka madapa ka. Huwag mong kainin yan. Baka sumakit ang tiyan mo. Yun ay mga paalaala sa inyo ng inyong mga magulang. O kaya ang inyong mga teacher, sasabi nila, mag-aral ka. Gawin mong assignment mo. Ang isang mabuting bata nakikinig sa teacher. Ang isang mabuting bata nakikinig sa magulang. Napapahamak ang isang bata kung hindi marunong sumunod sa mga payo at utos ng kanilang mga magulang o ng kanilang mga guro. Listen to your parents. Listen to your teachers. Listen to God. Yun ang mali ng Jerusalem. Ang bayan ng Diyos ay nasira sapagkat hindi sila marunong makinig. Mga ginigilip kong kapatid, yan din ang mensahe sa ating lahat. Huwag nating hayaan ang, ang Panginoon ay umiyak dahil sa katigasan ng ating puso. Sapagkat alam ng Panginoon, tayo ay mapapahamak kapag tayo ay hindi nakinig sa Kanya. Let us listen to the Lord. Let us give our yes to God. And we will see how blessed we shall become. Amen. Please stand. Let us make our prayers of intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to that eternal Jerusalem, our promised inheritance. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may become a living sign, an instrument of unity and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may avoid making excuses in responding to the demands of our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> Lord, hear our prayer. That life's misfortunes or sickness may not distract us from our resolve to follow Jesus even in suffering. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That eternal salvation be given to the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own particular needs as well as for the prayers offered in this intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, may we never look back or hesitate to move forward in the journey towards your kingdom. May these prayers strengthen our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept <clears throat> the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you, and gain us the price of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, let us pray to our common Father in heaven in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, of, Lamb God, of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you 
the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.